Has your vet heard a murmur in your cat? Are you wondering what it might mean? Is it serious and should you be worried? Maybe your cat seems completely healthy and you had no idea that there was anything wrong. Heart murmurs in cats can be very confusing. As a veterinary cardiologist of 20 years experience, I've been involved in these discussions many times. So let's have a look at why a murmur in a cat should always prompt further investigation. But don't worry just yet. The good news is that quite often your cat might remain healthy despite the murmur. It depends on the underlying cause and a diagnosis is key. So today I'll break down what heart murmurs are, what causes them and what you should do if your pet has one. Cats are a bit more complex than dogs and so to cover everything in this video it's a bit longer than average but do feel free to use the chapter markers to get to the bits you're most interested in. So what is a heart murmur? Let's start by having a look at what a heart murmur actually is. It's a turbulent flow of blood happening inside the heart. And what does that mean? Well, any fluid in motion can transition from laminar or smooth flow into turbulent flow. I like the analogy of a river. Have you ever looked at a large river flowing past often at great speed and volume and noticed how completely silent it is? That huge volume of flow can move really quietly. It's quite remarkable. However, as soon as it reaches a constriction or narrowing, like a bridge or rapids, suddenly it can become really loud and roaring. This is turbulence or turbulent flow, and it makes noise. The physics of this are pretty complex, but basically there are rapid and irregular pressure and velocity changes happening constantly within this turbulent flow, and this generates sound waves. In the same way, a heart murmur is caused by turbulent blood flow in the heart. Anything that affects the smooth flowing of the blood through each of the four cardiac chambers and valves and the great vessels can result in a chaotic or swirling motion in that blood. And this changes the flow from silent to noisy. So a heart murmur is an abnormal sound that we hear when we're listening to your cat's heart with a stethoscope. Normally, a cat's heart sounds like a steady lub-dub, lub-dub. But with a murmur, we hear a whooshing or swooshing sound. Let's listen to an example. Don't worry if you struggle with that. Cats' heart rates are very fast, especially at the vets, so hearing a murmur in a cat's heart takes a lot of practice. So there are lots of reasons that you can get a heart murmur. Some are innocent murmurs, which means that they're harmless and found in kittens. It's often thought to be due to the high flow speed of the blood as it passes through the tiny, growing and fast-beating heart. They usually go away as the kitten grows. But other times we can see flow murmurs in cats' hearts. And these are caused by the flow becoming turbulent in different areas without any signs of disease. These are especially common in the outflow tracts on both the left and the right side. However, murmurs can also be caused by underlying heart disease. One possibility is a congenital heart defect. Some cats can be born with abnormal heart structures, so not all kittens with murmurs should be assumed to have an innocent murmur, especially if it is loud or if it doesn't go away. And there's heart muscle disease. Cats are very prone to heart muscle disease, in particular, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This is the leading cause of murmurs in cats that are over six months of age. More on this later. And finally, there are leaky heart valves. While this is super common in dogs, Cats almost never get leaks in their heart valves as they age. It's occasionally seen though as an aging change and infections can also cause leaks too. More commonly leaky valves can be something that they're born with as part of the congenital heart defect group. And then there's other conditions. Things like anemia or infections can also contribute and cause murmurs. And what about grading murmurs? Your vet might have also mentioned a grade or level when they heard the murmur. This is an estimation of the loudness of the murmur, usually on a scale of 1 to 6. 
And in general, a low grade murmur is much less worrying than a high grade murmur. It can be tempting to get very caught up in grading, especially when looking for changes over time. But actually most studies suggest it's quite unreliable as it doesn't match well between different clinicians and it doesn't correlate well with disease severity. In cats, this is especially true as the typical murmurs we hear are often dynamic murmurs which can come and go and vary with the heart rate and the myocardial stress. Sometimes they will come, sometimes they will go, even if the underlying disease stays the same. So monitoring murmurs, especially their loudness, can be quite unrewarding in cats. And what about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM? It's the most common cause of a heart murmur in cats. But what is it? HCM is a thickening of the heart muscle. It happens gradually over time and is triggered by genetic mutations in the muscle proteins that control the contraction and relaxation of the heart muscle. This is occurring deep down in the molecular machinery of the heart, and it's a defect repeated millions of times across all the muscle cells. But it's not just one defect we're looking for. There are probably thousands of different types, all leading, eventually, to the same problem of heart muscle thickening. So. This muscle thickening makes the heart stiff and inelastic and it can't fill properly. So why do we get a murmur with HCM? And what is a dynamic murmur? A dynamic murmur is a tricky thing to understand, but it's the cause of most murmurs in cats. So let's have a look at the heart animation to understand what's going on. Here we can see a normal heart and we can zoom in on the left ventricular outflow tract. This is the exit point of the left ventricle. The left ventricle is the powerhouse of the heart and we have a high flow of blood exiting through this narrow gap. Any thickening of the heart muscle in this area can constrict the area and make the blood struggle to get through. And this causes the turbulence that I mentioned earlier. And so we get a whooshing noise with every squeeze of the heart. It's called dynamic because the narrowing becomes ever more extreme during the squeeze. And it also tends to get worse the faster the heart goes. It's also sometimes seen on the right side of the heart, but this is usually not due to HCM. You can see here why not all HCM cats get murmurs. The thickening of the heart muscle can be very variable. Sometimes it happens at the apex of the heart, and sometimes in the area around the outflow, the septum. Only if the thickening is in the septum will the murmur happen. If we look at the animation again, here is a heart with apical thickening only. The heart muscle might be very stiff and unhappy, but if there's no obstruction at the outflow, then there's no murmur. The opposite is also possible. Some cats are thickening only at the outflow, and so they can have quite loud murmurs, but no serious impact on the rest of their heart. So it's a huge diagnostic challenge. Many cats with heart murmurs may have minimal disease, Many cats with severe disease may have no heart murmur. So how do we know which cats to investigate further? This is a huge diagnostic challenge. First, auscultation or listening with a stethoscope is step one. Sometimes the murmur is clear. Sometimes it comes and goes. Here's an example. In addition, the vet might also hear something called a gallop rhythm, which sounds like this. And finally, an arrhythmia can also be a clue that something isn't right. Typically, it will sound a bit like this. Any of these should prompt further investigation, even if your cat seems perfectly healthy. In fact, a gallop rhythm or arrhythmia is probably more likely to be associated with problems than a murmur. Usually, an echocardiogram, which is an ultrasound of the heart, is the best way to see how well the heart is functioning and to find the cause of the murmur. We get to see the thickness of the wall and whether the heart is struggling yet or if it's just doing fine. In skilled hands and with the right equipment, this is by far the best test. You can watch our other video on echocardiograms if you want to know more. However, in many parts of the world, 
Echoes are quite expensive or require a lot of travel to get to a suitable cardiologist. And in that case, a pro-BMP blood test is sometimes a cheap option and a good way to help judge if an echo is worth performing. A negative result here is quite a good predictor that the disease is mild, but a positive result should mean that an echo is performed. Chest x-rays can also be used to check the heart size and lung health, but with HCM, the thickening usually happens inwardly and not outwardly, and x-rays only show a silhouette. Finally, an ECG might be suggested, Usually this is best if your vet suspects any rhythm disturbance, like that arrhythmia we just mentioned. Of course, it's really important to use your own vet's guidance on this one, as there are so many different possible situations that can apply. My favourite starting point, nearly every time though, is an echo. The echocardiogram provides so much more information than any other test. On the right machine and in the right hands, it's fantastic. In fact, an expert echo is able to give a cardiologist a view of every chamber of the heart moving dynamically and to assess the speed and flow characteristics through every valve and vessel. It assesses cardiac function in all chambers and it can measure the size of the heart in all sorts of ways. It can assess if any of the valves are leaking, which is known as regurgitation, or narrowed, which is known as stenosis. So remember, not all murmurs are life-threatening but early detection is key to managing heart health. So what symptoms might you see with this condition? Cats will often show no sign of problems at all. This is partly because the condition can be silent, but also because cats hide symptoms really well. Subtle signs you may see in some cats are stopping suddenly while exercising or open mouth breathing. But sometimes HCM causes serious health problems like congestive heart failure, which is where the lungs can start to fill with fluid, and your cat will show problems with their breathing. This is why watching and counting your cat's breathing is very important, as it can give an early warning sign of impending problems. Another serious problem we see is thromboembolus or stroke. Cats can form blood clots inside their hearts, and these clots can break off and get into the circulatory system, causing serious issues usually blocking blood flow to the back legs, which can make your cat paralyzed. This is rarely survivable for your cat, so we try to reduce the risk of this happening by using anti-clotting drugs, which can help to prevent the clots from forming in the first place, but only if we know about the risk. Finally, we also believe that HCM is a leading cause of sudden death in cats, although most of the time sudden death is not diagnosed, and so debate still rages between cardiologists. And what about treatment and management? The treatment for heart murmurs depends on the cause. Many murmurs need no treatment at all, while others may require medication to support the heart function or to prevent blood clot formation. This can include diuretics, which help reduce the fluid buildup in the lungs, but they're only needed when the heart is really struggling in a situation known as congestive heart failure. Sometimes these can get used a little bit too early. Then there's anti-clotting medications such as clopidogrel, rivaroxaban and aspirin. These are very important to use to prevent a clot before it happens. Also beta blockers, which can help reduce dynamic obstructive disease, but only seem helpful in certain severe situations. And then finally there's ACE inhibitors, which are used less frequently nowadays, but can help to ease the blood flow in the circulation and to reduce remodeling. Sadly though, there are no preventative medications for most feline heart conditions, currently with any proven benefit, especially HCM. There's currently some interest in one known as rapamycin, which is marketed now as felicin, and we're watching this closely, and I've got a separate video linked here on what this might mean. Also, mavacamptin is another drug being investigated for benefits in humans affected by the HCM. So it's important to stress that while we can't prevent HCM, we have been finding an increasing number of ways that we can help cats by bringing in medication in the preclinical or asymptomatic phase. This is why it's usually worth getting a murmur investigated before you see any changes in your cat's health. Getting the diagnosis right is ever more important 
and usually needs a proper investigation rather than just guesswork. So what can you do as a pet owner? If your cat has been diagnosed with a heart murmur, don't panic. You can download our action plan using the link below to help get on track. But these are the main steps. Follow your vet's advice on diagnosis and monitoring. In particular, try to get an echocardiogram performed by someone with expertise in this area. It's actually quite tricky diagnosing and staging cats and needs very good quality scan equipment. So do see a cardiologist if possible. We also recommend keeping up with regular checkups and heart screenings, but even more important to making regular recordings of the sleeping respiratory rate. You can have a look at our video on how to do this linked here. It's simple, free and very effective and can help detect problems nice and early. Also make a note of any changes in energy levels. Cats can be very good at hiding problems when it comes to heart disease, so be alert to anything that's not quite right. And also make sure that your cat maintains a healthy weight and healthy diet. By staying proactive, you can help your cat live a happy and healthy life. And remember that regular checkups and often repeat echoes are crucial to monitoring any changes over time. So heart murmurs can sound scary, but with the right care, many cats live normal lives. Remember these key things about cats and their murmurs. One, a murmur is not a diagnosis. It's a diagnostic clue that should prompt further investigation. Two, murmurs are not at all correlated with disease severity in cats. Some cats can have loud murmurs with minimal disease, while others can have severe disease and no murmur at all. Get a scan or a pro-BMP blood test as the next step to make sure your cat is not at risk. So thanks so much for watching. We're trying hard to reach more cat owners who want to know how to help their cats. So please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons, which will help boost our reach. And feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions about your cat's heart health. Thanks so much for watching.